dealing with food in the kitchen behind closed doors that you can share with our viewers um, in order to make them understand more that cooking is an art in its own right? Yes, um, well, cooking is an art. Uh, it is, that's why it's called culinary arts uh, degree. Um, there are different, uh, I guess, what you should say, um, factors that would contribute to making food an art. There's um, the taste, the aroma, the, right, uh, yeah. the feel. Um, so, uh, Even the look of it, right? And like the plating. Right. Yeah, yeah, the plating. The, 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 the timing yeah. that goes into it. Right. And um, each chef would have a different yeah. take on those. Um, all those, um, uh, with, without those, then it's, it's pretty much just uh, food in your mouth. But yeah. when, when you apply all those and uh, you put love into it and um, passion into your Aww. cooking, so um, it's, it's a lot like visual arts or performance course, yeah. arts you, also. With that, that's, the, that's the key there, love and passion for cooking. If you don't have those, then all, all the rest, like, just, it, it won't come out the way you want it to be. Have you had yeah. any major influences on your, on your own uh, pursuit of the culinary arts? Like, who have your idols or icons been among international chefs? Uh, well, I like, uh, personally, I like Emeril Lagasse. Um, who else? Um, Chef Oscar Ramsey, uh, who's in Hell's Kitchen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Any uh, of the celebra uh, TV celebrity chefs, like like uh, Iron I, Iron. Well, the <laughs> one I what sticks out to me in my in my head right now is uh, Bruce Lee. I don't know. I mean, he seems he seems like a, he, he knows what he's doing. Uh, Chef Bruce Lee. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's his name, Bruce Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were uh, thinking of different Bruce I love Lee. Miguel. <laughs> no. Okay, you love her for a different reason, as do most guys. You know Nigella Lawson, uh, right? When you talk of, yeah. yeah, when he talks of passion and cooking, I mean, she Nigella provides a passion for He's for called cooking. the boss man, I guess. Um, Bruce Lee? Yeah. Yeah, boss yeah. man. Well, what city? Uh, I believe here in Manila. Is yeah. It? Oh, okay, okay. Like, okay, uh, are, are you allowed to say, for instance, like what, if we were to ask you for the five hot spots in Manila for cooking, for dining, what would you say? Uh, I would say, well, soon to come, Kova. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, I would say um, uh, probably Sofitel, maybe. If you want, if you like buffets, spiral, uh, spiral. Um, so it got flooded, right? Uh, I suppose it's back on its feet. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. During that big uh, uh, storm about six, seven weeks ago. Oh. And there are a couple other ones that I still haven't been to because I just, I just. Uh, got here to the Philippines just a few months ago. That's right. Chef Dan was just, he just arrived in Manila, back in Manila rather, um, a year ago. So he's relatively uh, new. Okay. So much so that when he drives around, he doesn't, he's not so familiar with Pasong Tamo and Wendy. <laughs> okay. uh, there is a French place though, uh, I do remember. It's called uh, Gourmand. Mm -hmm. uh, a French chef actually, he cooks there and uh, he does, does really well with his okay. food. So. But why the decision to have Cova as a Spanish tapas bar. Uh, how did you settle on that with your brother? Why not a Japanese restaurant? Are you partial a, to Spanish? Or a German restaurant? No, we're not, we're not even Spanish, but yeah. uh, uh, we were just, I guess, influenced a lot by the fact that um, he lived there for a while and okay. uh, you know, he got interested. And um, I got inspired also when I was in Vegas um, there was a tapas bar also called Firefly, uh, my favorite spot. Uh, we both got in, um, inspired by that concept. And yeah, I think I personally think it's a really good idea because we don't have that many tapas bars here. Yeah. I, mean, well, we I, I like Circulo. Uh, well, yeah. it's a full restaurant. Yeah. Uh, Barcino, yeah. Barcino. Yeah, I love Barcino. Yeah. Uh, what would you call that? The, no? the that baby eel. Uh, Spanish He's getting technical now. Baby eels. Now that I've thought of tapas bar, yeah, that's my favorite take. Uh, the baby eels. Uh, I don't know. I, forget, I eat I unagi, but that's Spanish it. <laughs> in any 
guys. Yeah. Uh, when you say tapas bar, it also involves a lot of good wine. Right? Yes, wine too. Right. Yes, yes. Wine and uh, spirits. Yes. Single malt. And that's uh, something that you, your um, your guests will be able to expect. Yes. Something you guarantee is. Of good course, you and your brother had the time. hand in the choice of the uh, of the wines, right? You got to stock your bar. Well, my dad's Probably. in charge of that. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. he's in charge of the the wines, and okay, he's okay. a wine guy. But he's I not gonna put all German wines. Uh, <laughs> no, is he? There's gonna be a sorts of uh, different kinds. Yeah, uh, yeah, different kinds. Chile, of food, yeah. uh, New Zealand is now coming up with some good wines. Australia, and yeah, certainly Manila is not bereft of good wine selections. You know. uh, there's a lot of international distributors that already target Manila and a lot of locals who have set right. up uh, companies that bring in the best wines of South right. Africa. Just recently, I, I, I think, you know, I have this tampo with the uh, Friends Association tampo because I, n I didn't get invited to the Beaujolais Nouveau night last week. <laughs> I, hope it, I hope it was a terrible vintage. You know. Because I wasn't because there. Because you weren't there. I'm sure it was. Because you weren't <laughs> wait, there. Wait, wait. We have to tell our viewers. Now, eventually, in a few minutes, when we get to the second segment of the show, uh, Dan will Dan, the steak prove his culinary art. Will yeah. prove his culinary yeah, yeah. art skills by providing us with a live um, cooking demo. Cooking demo, yeah. Uh, it's gonna which he will benefit. He's going to grill Sorry. a steak for my merienda. Uh, I mean, my, my dinner. Not yet. <laughs> um, I just want to share with the viewers that um, I have seen Chef Dan in action. And um, what really sets him apart is his spirit. He has such character in the kitchen. Does he sing while he's uh, He does, it? actually. Yeah, okay. he, oh, Mio. He has stuff. asked me for random... <laughs> Um, okay, CDs, yeah. and then I played um, 90s rock, and he was singing along to it. That's my and other tempo. I he hear just he's, gets on I hear he's doing a lot of cooking some, somewhere inside <laughs> the Al Alabang <laughs> village, to which I never get invited. Oh my there was goodness. a great patio party the other week, you know, and I just hear about it or he see it. He feels bad beat. that he's never yeah. invited to your cookout. <laughs> but um, yeah, so um, Dan has such personality that is very infectious, which I'm sure he will be spreading to the other people in the kitchen of Koba. So I hope that you can all come and yeah. enjoy the dishes that they have, the booze that they have, and the environment that they will be preparing for you. It will be along Jupiter Street, Makati City. By the way, we relocated. Have you noticed? We relocated to Makati. Yes, so we're yes, now the GNN studio is Legaspi now Village. in, in uh, Legaspi Village. B back to you, Dan. How do you and your brother intend to uh, separate the chores you know, in terms of running the restaurant? You'll oh, both be question. cooking. Yeah, we'll Will you both be in the kitchen? We'll, we'll, we're both in the kitchen. Okay. Um, our other partner, who's his um, uh, girlfriend, friend, uh, will be running the front. Okay. Um, and yeah, we're just going to be splitting up uh, different uh, chores. How Your does that work? It's uh -huh. also a chef. Yes, he is. Okay. How does that work in terms of uh, being both chefs? No. No potential sibling rivalry uh, no, in the kitchen? No, no. We, we work well together. Okay. So you augment each other. So you don't, or do you split it down the line? Like, I prepare this and you prepare these. Well, no, we, we, we know how we, we, uh, we work together. Because we, we work together at home. So, okay, you know, okay. it's like a trial run. So I, I don't think it's going to change, like, whether it's at home or okay. at work. Uh -huh. um, so you have your chemistry figured yeah, we, out. Uh, yeah. We, can, we know what we're doing. So. Yeah. Well, we certainly look forward to that. No? Yeah. The uh, soft opening and then the regular opening of Kova along Jupiter Street okay. with uh, the steak man. I uh, shall come in Cape Woman attire. Yeah. And we'll see you in a little while after this break. In a few minutes. And uh, pardon us if we don't focus on the viewers in the second half because I'll be focusing on his grilling. On the steak. <laughs> and I hope we have enough time for you to watch us stick around uh, if you want to see the expertise the of 